Hi, Justin is from Floatsoft here. We have been receiving questions if it's possible to use Floatsoft in a SOLIDWORKS assembly environment when you have no single part that represents the internal volume of the hull and you also want to get the center of mass of the assembly right into your calculations. The answer is yes, indeed it is possible with a little bit of preparation work. For this example, I'm going to use the sailing racing dinghy model that we are currently working here at Plotsoft, and it has been modeled in a typical SOLIDWORKS assembly environment from many different parts, some of which are single body parts, some of them are multi body parts, but none of them have the entire geometry of the hull, and there is no single part that has uh, this hull form as a solid body. So, what I'm going to do is create a new part in the context of this assembly and copy over some geometry from other parts to recreate that uh, hull shape. There are many different ways how you can go about this. You can uh, save the assembly as a single part and then use the combine command. You can use the slicing tool to create cross sections at certain intervals and then create a loft function. But we find that it's most convenient to just copy over some surfaces from other parts and then try to combine them together into a single solid body. So I'm going to first save this part in an external file then edit it in the context of the assembly and use the offset surface offset tool to copy the geometry that I need. Now you can make this as complex as you want to, but uh, for stability calculations you don't really need, for example, the rig, the boards or anything else, just the hull shape, so I could just go about and copy the geometry from already existing parts, but uh, most of the time you will probably have some reference geometry that was used to create these parts in the first place, some lines perhaps or some surfaces. So in my case I already have such a part which has a very primitive uh, shape of this hull without any details, but it will be good enough for pre preliminary work. So I'm going to select these surfaces from my part and copy them over at a zero offset. Now I'm going to open that part. All right, and what I need to do now is create a single solid body from it. So I just need to close off some gaps here and mirror it over to the other side. Now to create the solid part, I just use the knit surface command to select all the surfaces that I have imported and created and click create solid. Now I'm going to use the mirror command and this part is done. The only thing remaining to do is to set uh, the mass properties, override the mass properties I will set it to zero so it doesn't mess with the mass uh, of the assembly once I go back to it. Because uh, Floatsoft doesn't really need the mass of this object, it only needs the internal volume, only the solid body. So now that's done, and I'm going to launch Floatsoft and set everything up for stability curve calculations. So to do that, I'm going to enable the metacentric height, lateral writing arm, and lateral writing moment. I'm also going to uh, select the uh, okay meters is okay. I will set the displacement as kilograms. This is a small boat, so it will be more convenient. So. 
So for stability curve, I'm going to set from 0 to 180 to 20 degrees. And now to get the center of mass, I could get it from this model, but it wouldn't make any sense. I need to get the center of mass from my assembly. So I'm going to switch back to my assembly now. And the center of mass is right here. So opening close up again, I'm going to click get from model. And now the coordinates of the center of mass have been copied over to these fields. Switching back to this part, I can now run the calculations. All right. And in a few seconds, I have my results. I'm going to see the stability curve if I select the lateral riding arm right here and show graph. And here it is. As you can see, it is that simple. You only need to get the geometry from your assembly, just the bits that actually matter, and then set them up in a new part, which is still connected to the original assembly. So if you change anything in your assembly, like the shape of the hull, or add additional parts, or shift the cargo or anything, you just need to update the center of gravity, the model will update itself, and you can run the calculations again.